What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE Top 20 Entertaining Segments in History Part 3. We gotta continue this series. I know this is gonna be a good one. Appreciate all the love and support on our channel. We're almost at 60k, so thank you guys so much for that. And uh, let's get right into this video, man. I'm looking forward to it. Sucker! Pull out another WrestleMania moment. Oh, uh oh. Love it every time. When you hear that glass break. Championship match. After backlash. <laughs> what? Why? Does he scare you? Does he make you shake? What? Are you intimidated? What? You don't breathe? What? You got no pulse? What? You're not alive? What? I love it. <laughs> it's time what? for Ric Flair what? to make a decision. What? Stone Cold. What? Stone Cold. What? I said Stone Cold. What? <laughs> right now. What? Thank you. What? You're welcome. What? <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin, number one contender. How'd that sound? And ain't a damn thing you can do about it, cue ball. <laughs> Here with me tonight. Tommy Dreamer leading. These guys are here for John Cena autographs, right? <laughs> I'm going down. My ass is going down. Swing. Yep. This was a pretty cool segment. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Here you go. The expression on this night, perhaps, is a better part. As a result of that, I barred DX from this arena tonight. No one is going to embarrass me like that ever again. No one. Yeah, ever this was. Is going to... <laughs> That's not me talking. This. <laughs> this was a funny. People think this is funny. <laughs> That was a funny segment when DX was messing with the production truck. That was not me. That, that's that damn DX, DX. you see? <laughs> you the truck, I love Cox. <laughs> <laughs> you love Cox. <laughs> Reggie Orton. In Hershey, Pennsylvania. I won't be able to come back. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure he sold this, by the way. That somebody gets RKO to WrestleMania. Oh, Randy, I forgot something. You're patient. I'm not. <laughs> oh, the that was good. That was such a good. That was such a good <laughs> fake out, man. Oh, man. Is this. Yep, this was the night after WrestleMania 30. Daniel Bryan became the W. The U, he had he had both the belts. The uh, I, I don't know if they had unified them yet. The I mean, who was the undisputed WWE champion? Yeah, he had both the belts. Oh, fantastic moment, bro! One of the best Monday Night Raws at the Mania. Ever. One of the best. Don't stop him. Let him keep going. <laughs> oh, this is dope. <laughs> you guys never get tired, do you? <laughs> right, this is awesome. This is right awesome, now. bro. Oh, my God. You deserve it. He did deserve it. This was a great segment. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna step in this ring, Daniel Bryan. You're not gonna get in the ring? Hold on just a second. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for anything. He is the one person that realized my awesomeness before anybody else. And I'm awesome! You are The Miz, but you're the WWE's biggest jackass. <laughs> This is when Michael Cole was unbearable. He was just a Miz fanboy. It was annoying. Oh my 
God, it was annoying. What's that? I don't. Mr. McMahon, very far. Wait a minute. <laughs> Stream World Class. Oh, man. Live. Some on a good moments. Networks. Some entertaining YouTube segments TV. over Try the free. years. Definitely. Oh, yeah. They, they hit me with the double ass. That's just what it is. Defy. Oh, yeah, this is when he had the match with the uh, the Undertaker at WrestleMania. And goodbye. Crazy and nonsensical it would be if you were running Monday Night Raw. <laughs> <laughs> he lost the match, but still ended up being able to run, uh, I think, was he running Raw for a little bit and then ended up running SmackDown? I'm not sure. I don't really remember too, too much. But I think he was running Raw for a little bit. Hey, 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 let's see what the hell you got. Okay, come on, go. Yeah, he said, yeah, I, I believe, yeah, he was running Raw for a little bit. This is awesome. Uh, on you TV uh, personality. A rattlesnake still a rattlesnake. I'm about to open a can of whoop ass. Again. AJ Stavios. This is all your fault, Steve. <laughs> Just shut up for a second. Let me talk. This is why no one likes coming to New York. <laughs> why don't you put a little bass in your voice then? Why don't you shut up, Steve? Steve. <laughs> I'll lend you an asshole. <laughs> in your old age, you've turned into a real asshole. Set him over the top rope. You know it's coming. Yep. <laughs> Woo! I love it every time. <laughs> and it's going to happen here and now. Well, it's going to be uh, really needs to get a scorecard because it's going to be Shane McMahon leading. And now the WCW is watching with this crowd. Oh, this ain't no. And look at Hank. He ran this company out of business. And now he's trying to make a name for himself. <laughs> he ran his company out of business. Not trying. JR was going. Y'all remember JR and uh, Paul Heyman's fuse, like commentary wise? They were going back and forth. They, oh man, that shit was so entertaining. Them just going back and forth on commentary was so fun to watch. Oh my God. Human being, the ball headed coot. <laughs> man headed, but one really gun. One of the biggest shots. <laughs> 15,000 of the Rock's hometown fans calling you, you are an, an asshole. asshole. <laughs> and also remember some cat named Soul Man Rocky Johnson whooping your daddy's ass. <laughs> your granddaddy, Bob Orton Sr., the Rock's granddaddy, high chief Peter might be a lay in the house. Uh, Mo and Smackdown. Smack his monkey, his <laughs> grandmammy, your mammy. They all complain, hell, the Rock's grandmama, his mama right there, slap the lips off all two of them bitches. <laughs> you never had a pretty pony. You I didn't play with those. Pony. Those my sisters, okay? That was uh, <laughs> Actually, one day, I'm going to whip your son's candy ass. <laughs> Before the New Day existed. Oh, uh, this was a pretty good segment between uh, New Day and... Uh, the Usos, man. This was this was pretty cool. Even though there's a lot of stuff going on with the background, this was still pretty entertaining. Dark matches and pre-shows <laughs> is all you get. Whoa. That was good. Just don't get all rated on like, like your boy, boy Xavier, Xavier Woods. Woods. <laughs> <laughs> then you used to be Jamaican. Nah, you was Jamaican, but he stayed in the lane. But please always remember... You were absolutely nothing till your wife put you on Total Divas. <laughs> I said, y'all should get back to doing what you do best, and that's carrying bags for who? For Roman! <laughs> <laughs> fools! You are all fools! That this will all he was be so over good. soon. He was so good. So good in the ring. So good in the ring, man. 
Just... Oh my God. That was a holy shit moment, too. Oh Back God. up has arrived. This was cool. And Bray Wyatt charging at Undertaker. And this was cool and to see. Oh, <laughs> I like how they both set up. He consumed their souls. I've been watching SmackDown since the brand split. One man that personifies that more than, more than anybody else. <laughs> Bro, this is <was> so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Fucking Ellsworth. <laughs> and do a five second pose. Oh my God. No, no. No. <laughs> Why don't you do your job and ask a question to someone that actually matters? Okay. Do you need Bray to pull the string in the middle of your back for you to talk? The entire world will see a fuck. Yeah, this is when Bray had like some type of control over Randy. Yeah. Or more dangerous Viper. Than ever before. This Sunday at Survivor Series, we all have to be on the same page. Dean Ambrose, who can't control his temper. I'm back, taking souls and digging holes. Anytime he ever came back, it was just immediate. The segment got better just because the legend, the, the iconic history of The Undertaker. Oh, but he's if in you it. Fail, you will have reason to fear the dead man. Joe, I guess it's better talking about the haircut that makes you look like a 12-year-old boy. Um, <laughs> and, and, and speaking of hair, where's Triple H? The thought of that somehow made Stephanie McMahon pregnant. And they'd make them watch copies of the DVD The Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Morello? Morello? Stand up, stand up. Where are you? Stand up. Well, I'm sorry, what's your name again? It doesn't matter, matter what, what your name is! <laughs> when I was WWE champion, Raw was the strongest brand. Now, Raw is an absolute joke. Take the women's champion, for example, Beth Phoenix. This isn't 90210, this is Monday Night Raw, and you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> and who are you supposed to be in love with? Only the weakest intercontinental champion in the Hisantino Morella. <laughs> Even with a broken clavicle. <laughs> he was going in, man. <laughs> I know, I'll get you two premium, they said. They cool. Were there. I, will. I could beat Santino. You love seeing Punk's old theme music. Not everybody has granddaddy and daddy behind them to usher them into the WWE. I don't take joy rides on my motorcycle at 3 a.m. and try to pop wheelies and get re-injured. Tonight's the very last night we have a shot to whoop their candy asses. This guy, he's scarier than all the rest. I mean, he scares the hell out of me. <laughs> well, I'm ready. Are you ready? You bet your ass on it. Does it matter if you're ready? <laughs> I love this segment. It doesn't matter. We got to go back. When Kane was actually talking, he was a face. This shit was entertaining as hell. There can be oh, my asses. God. This, this is guy, funny. He's scarier than all the rest. I mean, he scares the hell out of me. <laughs> well, I'm ready. Are you ready? You bet your ass on it. It doesn't matter if you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> and you know something, brothers? <laughs> Whether it's the millions, 20,000 screaming Canaanites. Canaanites? <laughs> the big red machine run wild on you. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> this was but great. This was really, really good. Kane sold that shit. <laughs> the Canaanites, I love it. As big of a deal as you think you are. Oh. A cheap ass, corporately created John Cena bootleg. 
a legendary it segment. It's called a promo, Shut kid. Your mouth, if you want to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do Shut it. Shut so your mouth, John. <laughs> so if you wrap all that up, you're just a fake, fake ass. You're a fake ass bitch. The one guy in the WWE that John Cena can't, can't see. see. <laughs> Congratulations, it took you five years to cut a halfway decent promo, but now I'm about to shrink you down to size. I'm still here because you can't do your job. I can do this part-time better than you could ever do it full-time. I didn't come out here to, to rub it in your face, but you did just get stood up at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> Get to say who the greatest of all time is. Boost the asses. Rock won his first WWE championship was in St. Louis. I'm gonna beat you at the Royal Rumble. This was supposed to be the greatest night of my life. If a homeless lumberjack banged an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> you didn't know how to handle Braun Strowman. And you're never around to. You mm. gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I still love this. This nigga. <laughs> that nigga brush. You gotta be kidding me. What? <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, bro. <laughs> Night of my You gotta life. be kidding me, Paul. Jack banged an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> oh. You didn't know how to handle Braun Strowman. And you're never around to. You gotta be kidding me. I think you deserve a shot at this. You don't deserve Dude, Jack buddy. shit. <laughs> I drag us all back. You don't deserve shit, buddy. Down to reality. Reality well, is I kicked, kicked your, your ass. ass man. <laughs> That's the reality. Sooner than later, I'm putting your ass to sleep. <laughs> Who knows you better than anyone? Bro, that was, bro, watching that live, I was like, that is one of the best segments we have ever seen. It seemed real. That is what we needed. Oh, man, that was so good. And, hey, you look at me when I'm Bro, talking, talking to you, or we can straighten this out right now. <laughs> Who got beat down by Braun Strowman last night? Don't call Steve Austin. Just bring, bring it. it. Oh, The Rock is calling out that The Rock is going to whoop your candy ass in the mm, WWE. Legendary. Legendary. The Rock has come back. So Stone cold. <laughs> Uh, has come. <laughs> Yankee, Yankee, Yankee. Stone Cold has come. <laughs> and saying, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cause Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see The Rock coming out here saying all that stupid crap. The Rock. More like a human being? Does it make you feel special? What? Does it make you feel proud? What? And I'm about to open up a can, can. on oh. your ass right now. Do you mind? I'm trying to get across a real special point here. Well, maybe I'll sing you a song right here and now. Searching for my <laughs> lost shaker of salt. It's old Stone Cold's fault. <laughs> the Rock will never ever, ever forget. forget. What? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back, bro. Searching for oh, my lost no, so shaker good, bro. of salt. It's old Stone Cold's fault. This is so good. The Rock will we'll never, never, ever, ever forget. forget. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, bro. That has to be number one. I'm in mean, agreement. That last clip, definitely number one. Two of the most over wrestlers in WWE history, bro. I don't even know what to say. This was an entertaining video. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite entertaining segment from this video. For me, got to be Stone Cold, The Rock interaction fantastic love it man appreciate all love and support road to 6k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace